In this presentation, we will store a QuickBooks backup file within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. When restoring the backup file, it's a good idea to first have a plan as to where the backup file is and where we want to restore the company file to. The backup files with this course will be on a website that we can then download, downloading them as a zipped file. Then you want to unzip those files. Once they are unzipped, then we can use them to restore to a company file. So to see where those are and how to unzip files, you can look at a prior presentation. We here are going to have the backup file that is now unzipped, a backup file ready to be restored. Remember how QuickBooks is going to be set up for the desktop version. It's similar to something like Microsoft Word or Excel in that the program you can think of as separate from the files. So this program here is on the computer, which is separate from the actual files that we will be using in the program, such as a Word document is separate from the Word application. The application is what is being used in order to open the Word document. What's a little bit different, however, is that the QuickBooks files are really large. And for that reason, the backup files are, are necessary to transport data and really to backup data in efficient ways. We don't really save the entire file because they are pretty large files. So we're going to have these backup files that we're going to have to restore from time to time. If you work in one company all the time, then you won't have to restore the backup file much. You're just going to make backup styles and hope that you never have to restore them because that would mean that you're either testing your data, lost the data, or you're providing that data to someone else, such as a tax professional, which is a common thing to do. And one reason that any business really is going to need some backup files in some way, we want to at least make the backup files and we may need to restore them when transferring data to uh, someone like our, our CPA firm or tax preparer at the end of the year. For practice, backup files are great because they can give us some data to work with. If we're doing bookkeeping, backup files are also great because they allow us to work with different clients and transfer the files from the clients to ourselves and sort different client information in that way. However, of course, we have to organize the backup files just like we would with a Word document. Now also note that it's when we restore the backup file, unlike a Word document or Excel document, we typically will actually open the program first, then restore the backup file. Just as we do whenever we open QuickBooks, we typically open the software, not the actual file. We don't usually go to the file and double click on the file as we might do with a Word document. We're going to open the program and then go either find the file or restore a backup file. So the first thing we'll do here when we start to restore is open up the program. Now the organization we're going to have, I'm going to put everything into our Get Great Guitars folder. We're going to open that up and set up two files within the Get Great Guitars folder. We have some more data in here, but the main things that we want to set up when we start, I'm just going to have a backup files and a restored QuickUp QuickBooks files. So the backup files are going to be different. I want to put them in a different spot because they look really similar, but they're going to be different files. So if I go into this backup files and I go into section one, which is the section we're working on, then you're going to have this information here. This is going to be the name of the file. If I make this a little larger, you'll notice it has a .qbb. That means it's a backup file. That means I cannot open this file unless I restore the file. So this is where the backup file will be located. When I restore it, I'm going to put it to not this location, but a similar location, we're going to go to Get Great Guitars and the Restored QuickBook Files Section 1. This is where I plan to put it. So we're going to put it in, in a similar location. Now also note that in practice, your backup files, if they're there to back up your data, you don't want them on the same C drive. Clearly here we have a different objective. Our objective here is just to sort the data and be able to work in different areas. So we're going to put it on the same drive here and just make sure that we sort and know which is the backup file and which is not. As we go through the problem, if you have multiple backup files and you want to work through multiple sections and, and backup and restore and jump forward, you're going to have to have some type of organization method in terms of which are your backup files, which are your QuickBook files, 
and how to restore that information. So now we know now that we know where the backup file is and where we're going to restore it to, we'll start the program. So we're just going to double click on the program here and when the program starts, it's going to open probably to the last uh, file that we were working on. So you'll see when I open QuickBooks, it opens to Get Great Guitars because that's the last file I was working in. Now, if this is the first time opening QuickBooks, we haven't worked with any company file, then it will have a different screen and it'll have some options to open or start a new company. Just note that if it does open to a company file, that doesn't mean that the file, remember that the file is different than the software. The software is on the program. It just opened the same, the last data file that we had open in the software. So also note that we could just restore a new data file without even closing this company. And that's what we can do in the drop downs here. So we could go to file and we want to go to the open or restore and we could go right from there. For this example, however, we're going to close the company file. So I'm going to close the current company file we are in. It's probably the safer thing to do. You'll probably feel better about closing the current company file before opening anything else because you'll feel like you're going to restore over the company file you're working on. So we'll close the company file and Intuit's going to recommend uh, backing up. I'm going to say, uh, would you like to back up now? I'm going to say no. And then we're going to go back to this screen. Now, if you don't have another company open, this is probably the screen that it will open up to. You may have a list of the company files that you've been currently working in. And that'll give you kind of a quick view of what you're working in. And it'll be able to give you a quick start if you just open up from there. Then we have these options down here. Create a new company, open or restore an existing company, and open a sample file. We're going to be opening and working with and navigating through within the first couple sections a practice problem that we will be working on, which is going to be a Get Great Guitars problem. That's the one I suggest working on so that we can go through and practice printing reports, practice navigating through reports. If, however, you want to follow along with your own file, that's fine too. We can do that. I just want to have something with data in it so we can generate some reports and start from there. If you don't have the backup file for some reason, you can always open a sample file. QuickBooks provides some sample files, and these are great ways to just have some data in the system. We need some data in the system so that we can navigate around the system, generate reports, and look at some information. What we're going to do, of course, is restore a file. So I like to go to the drop down up top all the time, the file, and then go to open or restore because this, this drop down is going to be there all the time, whether we're on the screen or not. So we're going to go to open or restore. We want to choose a open. We want to choose the restore a backup file. Open would be if we were just opening another file that already had been restored. And you'll see it in the extensions in the files as we saw. A .qbw is, is a QuickBooks file that we could just open. A .qbb, which is what we have, is something that we are going to have to restore before we open. Now note, we're currently in the 2019 software. It is possible to restore backup files from prior software. So if we had prior software 2018, 2017, probably further back, we can still restore those in within the restoration process. It will update the file to the current software we are working on. If, however, we have a 2019 backup file and we're trying to open it in 2018 or earlier software, it will not work. And so just be aware that we can restore backup files to a later version. We can't take uh, later version backup files and restore them to an earlier program. So as long as you have a later program than the backup file you are using, you should be able to restore it. Also note that that's a problem if you want to give that data back to somebody else. If they have 2018 software giving you a backup and we then back up the software with 2019 software, and then want to give a backup back to them to, to restore our changes, we won't be able to give it back because we will have restored their data up to 2019. Our backup will be 2019 and we won't be able to give it back to them. So it only goes one way in other words. So just keep that in mind as we, as we go through this process. So we're gonna go to next. We wanna have a local backup instead of the online. And so we're gonna go next. And then we're just gonna locate where the backup is Ours was on the desktop. This is where that organization help is helpful. It's on the Get Great Guitars. And we're going to look at the backup file. So then I'm going to 
get the, the file from here and then we're going to restore it here. So it's in the backup files. It's in section one. And there it is. And once again, you know, it's a it's a QBB file may not even show up here if it wasn't a QBB file. If you're saying, hey, I have a green thing there and it's not showing up. Why? Because it's probably not a QBB, but an actual QuickBooks file and only the QBB files, the backup files will show up here. So I like to just double click on it, but you can click on it once and select open. I like to just double click on it. And then where do you want to save it? So it's going to save in another location. We're not just opening that file. We're going to create a new file. This being the one that we're actually going to open as opposed to the backup file. The backup file won't go away. The backup file doesn't change. It's going to create a new file. So we're going to say next, where do we want the new file? And you might say, well, I just did this. And no, we didn't just do this. We got the backup file and now we're restoring where we want to put the new file that's going to be created from the backup. So we're going to go to get great guitars again, but this time we're going to go to the restored QuickBooks file. So this one's still there in the backup and we're going to put the new file that we're just going to create right now in the section one restored files. And this one will be a QBW file, a writer file. That's what that is. A writer W writer. So we're going to say save on that and it'll start to restore. Typically, it will have the same password that we are using within the QuickBooks file. For the Get Great Guitars, the new 2019 QuickBooks files, we're using a capital GGG1234. So that's capital GGG1234. And the, the password could change. So if you look on the page where you downloaded the backup files, it'll give you what the passwords are. So it'll give you what the, the password is going to be for any given backup file that we download from that page. Should be for the 2019 files. We are hoping to keep them all as capital GGG, Get Great Guitars, GGG, 1, 2, 3, 4, and OK. And there we have it. Now the backup file is up and running. It has been restored and we are now working within it. One last thing we want to note is where this file is as compared to where we started, where the, where the backup file is and where the restored file is. So if we go back to our desktop and we open up Get Great Guitars folder we put on the desktop, then we can find that we have the backup file is still there. Section one, this is the backup file, but that's what we used to restore, but we're not working in this file. We can always go back to this backup file. And that's the great thing. If we mess up, then we can always go back to the last backup we had and start from there. That's what the desktop version really has that's great because we have these static backups that we can go back and see what happened and be at a prior date in time and go from there. So if we go back to Get Great Guitars, the restored file is now here in section one. This is the restored file. Now this is the actual file. So if we were to go in here and just double click on this file, it should open. It's a QBW file, but that's not what we normally do. Still, we're just going to go in and open the software and QuickBooks will pull this file open typically. Why? Because it's the last file we were working on. So if we're in a situation where we, where we always work on the same file, QuickBooks will always pull that file. If we're in a situation like a bookkeeper or a students or, you know, just learning the software where we want to work on multiple files, we need to make sure that we're, we're knowing where those files are and, and picking them up. Also note that it's really nice to put this in a section one folder because when we restore the file, all this stuff was made from the restoration problem process. Th this is the only file that looks like the, the actual QuickBooks file, but all this other stuff was generated in the restoration process. And it's nice. So if you just restore it to your desktop, your desktop's going to be scattered with all this kind of stuff that you don't really want to see, not just one file. <laughs> so you probably want to open up a separate folder for the restoration files so that it has room to, to scatter all the stuff that it's going to generate when it restores the file. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.